Welcome back for an Ask Sage tutorial. Today we're going to dive into the concept of the context window and how it affects the performance of large language models. The context window is defined by a formula that includes the persona, which by default is system generated but can be changed using the personality dropdown, the question you query, a bit of the chat history, a file if attached to the prompt, dataset chunks, and the response. These elements come together to form the context in which the large language model operates. However, each model has its own limit in terms of the amount of data it can handle. So let's take a closer look. Let's consider three models. GPT 3.5, GPT 4.0, and GPT 4.0 32K. GPT 3.5 has a limit of 4,096 tokens, or about 10 pages for the entire context window. GPT 4.0 can handle 128,000 tokens, or about 300 pages. However, while GPT 4.0 can process more content, the response is limited to 10 pages. Unlike GPT 4.0 32K, which allows 32,168 tokens, or about 80 pages, for the entire context window allowing for a longer response. Understanding context window limits is critical to selecting the right model. Now let's explore how data in your dataset is accounted for and processed within the context window. To set up a dataset, you can ingest files such as PDFs, Excel sheets, Word documents, and more. Once ingested, the bot extracts the plain text from these files, removing any noise like images or formatting. The extracted text is then divided into chunks of 500 tokens each. This process of chunking the dataset ensures that the data can fit within the context window and be processed effectively. It's important to note that the chunks may be cut at different points, but we try to cut them at the end of sentences to maintain coherence. When you ask a question, the bot conducts a semantic search within the chunks of the dataset you've selected. It looks for matching results based on your prompt. It's crucial to provide a clear and specific prompt to get accurate responses. Model selection determines how many data chunks are pulled into the context window. For example, GPT 3.5 pulls three chunks, GPT 4.0 32K pulls 15 chunks, and GPT 4.0 pulls 50 chunks. Now let's walk through the process of writing your first prompt. Start by selecting a persona that aligns with the desired behavior of the bot. The system has a default persona if you don't have a specific functional role for the bot to take on. Next, choose the appropriate dataset. Then, ask your question, making sure to specify what you want the bot to pull from the dataset. When you receive a response, it's essential to understand the limitations of the context window. If you need a large response, such as writing a whole book, you may opt for an iterative approach. So instead of trying to write the book in one prompt query, you would run multiple prompts and aggregate the responses. To recap, the context window is defined by the persona, question, chat history, attached file, dataset chunks, and the response. Each model has its own limitations, and understanding these limitations allows you to optimize your prompts to achieve more accurate and valuable responses from language models.